Hi, today I'm going to be reviewing Pictory AI, um, which is a video creation software. I use this for my business. I run an SEO agency and I convert my blog articles into videos. Um, YouTube is a really powerful way of um, getting extra backlinks and also um, better rankings for your website and your articles. So this is a picture I'm in my actually account. So I like to, you can do a shortened version where you put an article to video and it's as simple as just putting in the page link and it will do a condensed version for you. And typically the videos will be a couple of minutes long. Um, you can also upload your own videos and edit your videos. There are different plans depending what plan you are on. You have different amounts of time that you can edit. My personal favorite is script to video. So my blog or article content writers will write an article for me. It is left in Grammarly and then I pretty much copy and paste the article into the script writer. Um, some things I, you know, leave out. You can see here that we're um, finalizing which website it will go on to and I will go through it. So I might make this a little bit generic so that I can use it on whichever website I want. Easy as going proceed. I'm doing landscape because it is for YouTube. And then it will automatically sort it all out into different story blocks. Now recently um, they, they have done massive amounts of work to this software when I first got it. Um, last year it had very limited amounts of um, stock images or stock videos. Recently they've added story blocks to it um, and it's really amazing the amount of different um, content you have and you can also upload your own images or upload your own videos. So it is a really fantastic way to use your blog articles into creating videos and it will select different images and videos. Some of them are pretty spot on, some of them aren't so good. So I will always go through and edit. I'm going to pause this and come back when it is done and I will show you how um, I go through and edit my blog article videos. Okay, so you can see here that I have had content created for me. So it took about a minute for it to um, go through. Now here are your text boxes and you can go in and edit these. So you can edit either on this side here or you can edit actually in there. These are the images here. Now you can see here it has messed it up. I'm talking about plastering. I am in Australia. We call it plastering. Um, in the States, you would call it drywall. So it has gone for a plaster or what I call a Band-Aid. Um, here, you know, really nice sort of different images that you can or um, video clips that you can use. And some of them are really, you know, really good. It's really quite intuitive, which what it um, puts in there. So if you don't like an image, say like this plaster one here, let me go here. It's as easy as going up here to visuals. And I can type in the term drywall. And here we go. Here's all my different sort of drywall um, videos that I've got available. And it's as easy as just changing it out there. If I decide that I want to use this same video or block of image for a couple of pieces, 
So what I can do here is I connect the scenes together. So here's a scene here. So if I connect it here, link it, so the next block will continue using that same video. And again, the next block as well. So I can use link the same video um, block or script or snippet and put several story blocks in there. If I decide I don't like something, like it's sort of um, a heading, um, then all I have to do is just delete it. So it's as easy as just deleting a scene like that. So it is really easy to use and it's yeah writing the content is the longest part of this process then once it's done so i've also got different audio files here as well so i can choose what music i want it also helps it chooses music so let's i don't want anything like that this is for um you know, a blog article, it's nothing sad or momentous about it. So I try and um, find something that's got a little bit of an upbeat. Something like that. They've got some sort of poppy stuff as well. So lots of different um, music styles. So I will go and choose something. The other thing that you can also look at is it tells you how long each um, scene goes for. Now, some of the video clips that are used are quite long. So I don't necessarily want, you know, one line of text having to stay on scene for seven and a half seconds. So I can also reduce the amount of time there as well so that um you know you haven't got these incredibly long scenes some of the scenes are quite long you know 14 seconds for this clip to sort of play its entirety so i will um usually reduce these down i sort of sit between sort of five and ten seconds for each scene so that people have got a chance to read the the scene and um, also see what it's all about. So I'm going to go through and keep editing this. Um, you know, if you're just doing basic SEO and you, this is just going out onto like syndication, you don't even have to edit this. I will be using this blog article on um, a website that does get some, um, you know, real real human traffic so I always try and make it look um, you know readable and I have it up the top of the paragraph so it is something that um, people do see straight away I'll be back with the finished product okay so I have finished editing my video it took I don't know maybe five ten minutes just to go through and work out the images that I wanted, remove some of the content that wasn't really working in the video. It was really easy. They give you a lot of choices for images. Um, if you are just doing one company only, so it's like for your own business, you can actually um, do different styles. So you've always got the sort of the same theme. The other things that you can do as well is to save your logo or your watermark so that always your watermark or logo is on your videos. Now I create, you know, oh, dozens of videos every week. Almost every blog article that we do gets a video link to it um, and this video is uploaded to YouTube with all um, geo um, coordinates and business information in there. It goes onto playlists, 
also that we um, help to rank and boost the businesses that we're doing the SEO for. Once I'm happy with my video, which I am, I did choose the music, which I showed you. You've got the different audio tracks there. This is the track I chose in the end. Actually, that's not that's not what I want. I wanted something a little more um, a little more um, better. <laughs> No. No. That'll do. Okay, that will be fine. I've also gone through and cut the scenes down and my video should be around the four and a half minute mark. When I'm finished with everything, all I do is generate it into a video. And that's as easy as it is. This takes um, typically one or two minutes. Once the scenes are done, it generates the video and then you just download it onto your um, laptop or computer. I hope that helps you to understand about how easy um, Picturey AI is there is also an area where you can upload um, a speaking video and it will create um, subtitles, which is really cool. So if you are doing a training video, you can upload it to Picturey AI and it will automatically put subtitles on it and you can edit them. So if it gets a word wrong, you can fix it. And it has also just released an update where it will take out those words like um, ah, uh, er, uh, so that you don't have those appearing in your um, text boxes or subtitles. And I will do a video on that so you can see how easy it is to use. There is a link below this video where you can go check out Picture AI. There is a free plan and there is also paid plans. If you are an agency of any type, the paid plans are an absolute bargain. And I do prefer this um, to Lumen 5. I have tried Wave in the past and I wasn't really impressed. I found Picture AI just to be a whole lot easier to use right from the get-go. There is basically no learning curve required. Thanks for watching and I will catch you next time.